have Joshua with us today. Dang, you already digging into the sushi? We're actually gonna try one of these built bars. So I just made three of each and I put Josh's in these little to-go containers. Good morning, you guys. We have Joshua with us today. So I'm gonna awkwardly film in front of him, but today we're gonna be doing another Walmart grocery haul, we have a pickup we have to go grab, but we're at Sam's Club right now. We're gonna go in here and just grab a few things that we like to buy in bulk. A lot of you guys liked the meal plan that I did in the last grocery video, so we're doing, we're actually making that one again, but we're making a different one that I'm gonna share with you guys as well. But before we go into Sam's Club, I'm putting the spotlight on Joshua here because I'm always sharing with you guys my dossier perfumes. So I wanted to share with you, I made Josh go in the bathroom and pick like sniff and pick out his favorite ones of his cologne, the ones that he wears the most. So that way he can tell you, well, I'm not gonna make you tell him, <laughs> but like you can tell him which ones they are though. Here you go, which ones we have. Oh, uh, I don't, what's this one? So this one right here smells like- Is that the one? This is, yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. So this one right here, I really like for him to wear during the fall. I feel like it's a really good fall scent. This one's Aquatic Lime. I thought that that was the light blue, but it actually is not the light blue. Let me look again. It is the Giorgio Armani Aquadigio. It yeah, smells really good. Blue. This is what he's wearing today. So if you guys are looking for like a cologne for yourself or for your man, these two are Josh's recommendations. Wonderful. Wonderful. This smells so good. Like I said, this is the one he has on right now. If you guys have not heard me talk about Dossier, they are a fragrance brand where you can go on their website and you can search for like a expensive luxury fragrance that you already love, but you can get it for a fraction of the cost because they have dupes for just about everything. One of these is like a hundred and, yeah, this Woody Coriander, the Dolce & Gabbana one is $132 normally but you can get this one for under 30. So it's definitely a lot cheaper and it smells like, ask Joshua, because this one right here, he has a Dolce & Gabbana one because he yeah. already had it before we ordered this and it smells- It smells just like it. Smells the same, smells so good. So I'm gonna have a link down below for Dossier if you guys have not checked them out. You can also find some of their fragrances inside of Walmart. So I'll have a store locator below so that way you can check and see if your Walmart carries them. I feel like most Walmarts carry them now. Definitely check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and we have miles with us. So we're gonna run in, That's knock nice. this out because our Walmart order's literally already ready, but it took us 10 years to get out the door. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. so good in there. Dang, you already digging into the sushi? What's that one called? Tempura shrimp roll? Mm -hmm. I think I've had something like that before. I just wanna make sure it's good. Sam's Club sushi is really good. This right here, guys, is what I always get, the spicy California roll. But that does look good. It's really I've good. just been like haunted by whenever I felt sick eating shrimp mm -hmm. when I was pregnant. So we just got home. I got everything set out on the table and I forgot to mention that yesterday we did go to Kroger and we grabbed some of their meat that they had on sale. So this is a haul of Sam's Club, Walmart, and Kroger for the week. So here is everything. We're gonna start over here with the meat that we got from Kroger. So they had the pork chops on sale for five dollars again so we grabbed those and then one of you guys asked me if I ever cook salmon and actually we I don't know if we ever have maybe once but they had these buy one get one free so we got this Atlantic salmon and then we got this flounder and we're gonna try both of these we'll let you know how they are we also got this chicken again which again I know it's only two chicken breasts but they're already marinated and we really like them we actually make all four in one night and the boys really love them too so we got lemon pepper and then we got the Kansas City style barbecue again. We liked this better than the like tomato basil or whatever, whatever that last one was that we got. So yeah, I think that's everything we got from Kroger. Just those meats right there. We got some of the stuff here for our meal prep, which like I said, we've made one of these before. So with the fire roasted corn, we got two bags of cauliflower rice and then some, just some ready rice which is the jasmine rice. We got a big thing of chicken tenderloins for our little lunch preps as well. We got these grilling vegetables. I think 
the last time we did a grocery haul we got these and they were really easy and really good so we're gonna start keeping these in our grocery hauls for when Josh grills. Josh is also gonna prep some little breakfast bowls for himself during the week so we got sausage we got some bananas and then these hash browns back here are for his little breakfast prep as well. We got his cranberry grape juices. We usually get the name brand of the French style green beans and the grape value is so much cheaper so we're gonna see I mean I don't how bad could it be it's just green beans and he seasons them and all that good stuff so hopefully those are good because they're a lot cheaper this is the teriyaki sauce that we're going to use for our meal prep today we got the boys some ritz crackers to snack on some grapes which we got it's a very small amount of grapes but that's okay and then we got some eggs we needed some hot dog buns i got some of these snyder's twisted pretzel sticks for a snack then we got the boys some fruit bars we got some milk we got some spiral craft mac and cheese this meal prep called for ginger and we actually didn't have any so we got that we got a big thing of broccoli which i think we might put this in the meal prep but also just to go with dinners i've heard a lot of good things about these chicken tenders so i figured this would be good for me to have on hand for a lunch one day if i don't have a lunch prepped or something like that okay if you guys know me you know that i like gummy vitamins and i didn't have any d3 or any iron and so i found out that they had these in gummies and so I grabbed them. We got some dino nuggets from Sam's Club, some pizzas from Sam's Club, French toast stick, sausage and pancake on a stick. We always get our paper towels from there. And then Josh got these little like half to go boxes for his meal prep things because when he goes to work and he takes lunch, he prefers to be able to just throw away the container, which I'm not complaining about because I know I see a lot of women complain about like the Tupperware bowls never coming out of the lunch boxes and stuff from work. So I'm fine with this. I grabbed these shorts. I was trying to find black ones, but they're just members mark brand little active shorts and they have i believe they're only like ten dollars they have this little little guy on the inside and i'm hoping i like them if i do i'll probably order some black ones and then josh grabbed this shirt from sam's club as well whoop i'm losing stuff so i grabbed these built bars i actually tried out this built puff brownie batter one a couple of days ago and i really like it so i grabbed this one it's also got built chunk cookie dough I mean, it sounds good. Hopefully it's good. The bugs and gnats have arrived for spring and summer. So I got some refills for my little flying insect trap. If you have an issue with like main, mainly like gnats and stuff like that, this is amazing. I also got this big box of Alani. Miles is just coughing his little head off because I've been drinking these. I've not been drinking coffee. So it's a really good deal to get them from Sam's Club. We also needed Dawn Power Wash. And then these are from Walmart. Bryce has already gotten into them, but we got some Granny Smith apples. And that's everything. That's everything that we got for the week. And so we're gonna get this put away and then we're gonna start in on our lunch meal prep. So first we're actually gonna try one of these Built Bars because I have not ate a protein bar today. And I wanna try the little chunk one. I looked up people trying these on TikTok and i only saw good things 15 grams of protein 160 calories eight grams of sugar this one right here just the regular puff one it's kind of got the consistency of like a marshmallow like this reminds me of a moon pie but in a good way because like i low-key did not like moon pies the chunks on top i think are cookie dough so i kind of want to be able to i'm going to rip it in half because I kind of want to bite into the cookie dough. Okay, here's what she looks like. That's not bad at all. The little chunk on top just tastes exactly like chocolate chip cookie dough. I think I will repurchase a lot of protein bars. Just do not taste good. And these, I don't know if it's the squishy like marshmallow consistency or what, but I like it. So after eating the whole thing, I feel like I like the brownie batter puff one better than the cookie dough. It's kind of hard for me to like. I, I haven't really found a cookie dough type of protein bar that I like. This one's the better out of the ones I've tried, but I just like this one. I feel like this one's just, it just tastes better to me. Like I said, it kind of tastes like a moon pie. So for today's little meal prep, we're going to be making teriyaki chicken bowls. So you're going to need your chicken, which I haven't sat out yet. We're also going to put broccoli in ours, but you don't have to. But you're going to need cauliflower rice, jasmine rice, teriyaki sauce, ground ginger, ground garlic, and pepper. So I already have my broccoli cooking over here. You can cook your broccoli however you want, if you want to steam it, whatever. And then for your cauliflower rice, you just want to follow the instructions on the back, but you basically just cook it on the stove for 
five minutes it says. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut up some chicken tenderloins, which I just like to use scissors to make little chunks of it. So once you have your chicken cut up, you just wanna put like a drizzle of your teriyaki sauce. Then we're gonna add some garlic powder, some ginger, and some pepper. Give it a little mix. I probably should have mixed it up after I put the teriyaki sauce on there, honestly. Just make sure everything's evenly coated. Then you just toss the chicken in the air fryer, just like last time, which I love. I feel like that's just so much easier. We're going to cook it on 400, and you're going to cook it for about four minutes per side. All right, so I also cooked this ready rice according to the directions on the back. You just pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and I mixed together the cauliflower rice and the jasmine rice. I got this trick from Michaela Thomas. She is on TikTok and on Instagram, but I'm gonna take a cup for each bowl. Now the broccoli is completely optional. You don't have to put broccoli in yours if you don't want to, but we wanted to just to kind of add some volume to the bowls and kind of have another vegetable in there besides just the cauliflower. And then next we're just going to add our chicken. This is all pretty self-explanatory. I ended up only having enough chicken to do three of these bowls and then I'm gonna do three of the bowls that we did last week. This is the final product. They look pretty good. The only thing that I messed up on is I didn't realize we didn't have any yummy yum sauce because I was gonna drizzle yum yum sauce over the top of all of these. I couldn't help myself y'all. I had to see it through. Luckily there's a grocery store right down the road from me so I didn't have to go to Walmart. It's it's best choice yum yum sauce y'all. I wasn't being picky. It was the only one they had. So we're gonna go home and complete these teriyaki bowls. Now that we have our yum yum sauce, we can do a little drizzle. I'm not gonna lie, the girl that I saw make this used light yum yum sauce, but we're not doing that. Okay, that looks so much better. So we got our drizzle on our teriyaki bowls. We also did the same bowls that we did last week. If you wanna see this recipe, it's in my last video. So I just made three of each and I put Josh's in these little to-go containers and they fit perfectly in here. Okay, a couple of things, my house, absolutely trashed so we're gonna sit right here and hide it secondly this is one of my brand new shirts from love and faith i'm gonna start leaving them linked just under every single video because just know all my christian tees are from them but i have a whoop he's just in his diaper oops i have a discount code from them so i like to share that with you guys also i promise all the meal preps are not always going to be chicken and rice i'm just kind of like we're learning together i'm going to start writing these down as i make them so i have a little meal prep like cookbook type thing but they're always going to be simple because it has to be simple or i won't stick to it i'm going to continue to share the meal preps that i do i'm going to do my reading as requested by you guys so we're going to read from the psalms book again because a lot of you guys really seem to like this one and they're dated so today is april 8th it's called cheer up psalm 94 19 when the cares of my heart are many your consolations cheer my soul miles is right there he wasn't very loud last time i did a reading but today sounds like he's gonna be a variety of translations of this verse are good at describing what anxiety feels like it is many cares of your heart it is great worry it is when doubt fills your mind you might be someone who has struggled with anxiety for most of your life but even if you aren't you likely have felt the weight of anxiety at times Perhaps you're facing work or study deadlines. Maybe you're struggling with the discipline of one of your children. You might be having difficulties in your marriage or you are feeling alone and uncertain about what your next move might be. All of these cares weigh you down. Share them with Jesus. He wants to console you and bring cheer to your soul. God, thank you for a new morning. Even though I may have woken up with a lot of cares and concerns, I pray I would be able to trust that you will help me sort out the things that are within my control and to let go of the things that are not. I tend to like stutter when I'm tr like reading aloud. I don't know what it is about it. This one really is something that I can relate to because I have dealt with anxiety for literally my whole entire life. But I do feel like since I've grown my relationship with God, I have really let go of a lot of things, like just a, a lot of silly things that I'll have anxiety or stress over. Really, really small things or big things. I feel like I've just have more of like this mellowness about me when I am just like, I'm just giving this to God. And when people used to tell me that, and I would, I just honestly would be kind of like rolling my eyes in my head. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, 
I just don't feel like it's that simple, but it really is. So if you have a lot of things on your mind or your plate right now, I highly recommend just letting go, giving it to God, knowing that he has all the control and you can't control everything yourself. You can't handle everything yourself. We weren't built to. And that's something that I've had to learn because I have always tried to control everything myself. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any like video requests or anything like that, leave them down below and I will try my best to do those. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.